Looking for a compact powerhouse that fits right on your desk? Look no further than the best mini PC. These pint-sized computers pack a punch, offering impressive performance without taking up much space. Whether you're a student, a professional, or a casual user, a mini PC can be your perfect companion for work, entertainment, or both. In this guide, we'll explore what makes the best mini PCs stand out and how they can enhance your computing experience. Let's dive in. Number 5. The Zotac Magnus 1 Mini PC If you're looking for better gaming performance, then the Zotac Magnus 1 is the way to go. Under the hood, you get the RTX 3070, which is a solid 1440p GPU, and will likely let you play most modern games with a few graphical compromises here and there. The only downside is that it only has 8GB of VRAM, which will likely not be enough in a few years to run the latest games. This might not be a deal breaker if you plan to upgrade in a few years anyway. When it comes to processing power, you get a good Intel Core i7 CPU. It's great for getting work done and won't slow down the GPU, so no need to stress about that. You also get 16 GB, which is fewer than the Intel NUC, unfortunately, and a bit of a shame for this price point. Even so, most folks likely won't have issues with that amount anyway since it's ideal for gaming and general use even on a desktop PC. As for storage, you actually get a 512 GB SSD and a 1 TB HDD, which is actually an impressive amount of storage for something this small. However, if you prefer a smaller size and really care about the shape of the computer, then the Zotac Magnus One is the best choice to get a mini gaming PC that's as powerful as possible. Thumbs up from here up next. Number 4. The Mini Forum Mini PC the Minis Forum Elite Mini UM780 is a very powerful mini PC for demanding office work. The AMD Ryzen 7 has 8 cores with 16 threads and comes with the AMD Radeon 780 meter, a very powerful GPU. With 32 GB of RAM and a 1024 GB SSD, you are also well equipped. This system is always quick and the mini PC handles even tough tasks easily. What's really cool about the Minisforum UM780 is that it has all the latest connections you need. Minisforum is one of the few manufacturers to even install an OSU Link interface, which is primarily intended for use with external graphics cards. Compared to USB 4, OSU Link offers a higher data transfer rate. However, USB 4 is not dispensed with, as Minisforum installs two of them in the Elite Mini UM780. The manufacturer does a lot of things right when it comes to cooling and even uses liquid metal to ensure excellent heat dissipation. This results in a relatively quiet operating noise that is never annoying. The Minis Forum Elite Mini um 7 a XTX is a super strong mini computer. It has an AMD Ryzen 7 HS processor that works really well without any limits. Plus, it comes with a fast iGPU called Radeon 780M which can handle lots of games smoothly too. It's a very good choice for you. Number three, the GMK Tech K1 Mini Gaming PC. Like the Geekom AS6, the Nuckbox K1 is essentially just a small square that's hardly exciting to look at. A silver and black color scheme adds a bit of interest though, and the plastic lid easily pops off to allow access to the internal components, no screwdriver needed. It's the tiniest one among all the models listed here, so it hardly takes up any space on your desk. You can also easily mount it behind your monitor without it being noticeable. It generally offered low performance on all our tests, from CPU benchmarks to gaming and video editing. It didn't handle Elden Ring on any quality settings, but casual gamers wanting light titles like Dredge or Unpacking will find it sufficient. Editing images in Adobe Lightroom was smooth and easy. However, I had some trouble handling my 4K project in Premiere. Exporting the video took a bit longer, around 35 minutes. When using the internet, it typically uses about 45 watts of power, but when exporting videos, it went up to around 60 watts. Thankfully, its price means its humble performance for gaming or multimedia production is perfectly acceptable. It's less than half the price of the Mac Mini, after all. Instead, this is a PC aimed more at office tasks, web browsing, or even as a media hub to connect to your TV. Number 2. We present the Ace Magician Mini PC. The AMR5 is a small computer that stands up straight and doesn't take up much space. 
It fits nicely on a small desk in a home office. There are two regular USB ports and one USB-C port on the front, so it's simple to connect things. Plus, the side panel is magnetic, so it's easy to open and get to the inside parts if you need to. Its older AMD Ryzen 5 chip allows for swift general office and web browsing tasks, and it runs lightweight games like Dredge without any issues. It scored low on our benchmark tests, however, and more demanding games like Elden Ring were sluggish and choppy, even on low settings. Though it handled image editing in Lightroom CC fine, 4K video editing in Adobe Premiere wasn't as smooth, but it exported my test project faster than others on this list. During regular activities like browsing the web or doing general tasks, it usually used about 40 watts of power. When gaming or exporting videos, it went up to around 50 watts. It isn't a high-performance machine. It's best suited for those of you who need a small machine for home office and web browsing tasks. It's a great option for you. Finally, we present to you number one, the Intel N UC12 Mini PC. Some people think the best small gaming computer should have a super powerful graphics card. But we're more curious about finding one that balances good specs and price. The Intel N UC12 Enthusiast actually does a good job of it, packing in a lot of good specs for a mini PC at a reasonable price. One example is the surprisingly powerful Intel Core i7 12 Gen, a mid to high end processor that will handle most work and productivity tasks without an issue, so it's a pretty versatile PC outside of gaming. As for the GPU, it has an Intel Arc A770M, which is an entry to mid range gaming GPU from Intel, one of their first actually, and it's no surprise that we're seeing it in its own gear. When it comes to how well it works, you want it to handle 1080p gaming smoothly. You could try playing at 1440p resolution, but it might not work well. The computer might get too hot inside and slow down to prevent damage. Even so, it's a pretty excellent achievement for something that small. Besides that, it has a very impressive 32 GB of DDR4 RAM, more than enough to have dozens and dozens of browser tabs open and a few apps on top of that. Storage is also very respectable at 1 TB, so you won't have to necessarily rely on an external hard drive to keep all your files. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video and all of the product links you can find in the description below. Hope this information has been helpful to you in finding the perfect product for your needs. Subscribe to our channel and like this video.